Hey there folks, I am Cassidy the Card Slinger, and today we're going to look at two Oracle card decks from my collection, and these are both Angel Oracle card decks. Um, as you can see, the one on the left here is the Ask an Angel Oracle deck. This is by Tony Carmine Salerno, and on the right here we have Kyle Gray's Angel Prayer Oracle cards. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll just do a really quick look at both of the boxes. So they both have little two-part um, kind of tough boxes, and both of them come with a pretty nice guidebook. So that's for this one. And same kind of thing. Um, I've got the cards out and sorted here. But yeah, I mean, both of them are, are fairly chunky guidebooks. They have a little bit to say about each of the cards, spreads, how to work with them, and all the rest. Um, this one is, I guess, 115 pages. Uh, and this one here, you can see, um, is a little bit longer. So I guess 124, including the back. Um, but yeah, so this will be a pretty quick video. Um, I am not an angel card reader. I don't offer angel card readings for clients, nor do I read angel cards for myself very often. But nevertheless, I do have these two decks. I am a huge fan of Tony Carmine Salerno's decks. I also have the um, Gaia Oracle. I just absolutely adore his artwork. As we go through the cards, I'm sure you'll be able to see why. Um, so what I've done here is I'm going to go through this is you know this is a deck comparison video and the reason why i wanted to make this video is to show how the different artists interpretations of the cards um, and for each of the angels so they don't have all of the same cards of course so how it's going to be set up is the first half of the video or the first chunk i should say will include um i can kind of show it for an example here we'll look at uh when they've done the exact same angel in both of the cards and how they have chosen to do the interpretation. And then we'll look at some of the cards that aren't exactly completely the same, um, but you know, they both maybe say creativity or have a couple of similar words on them. And then we'll finish off just by looking at the rest of the cards so you can have a chance to see all of the deck or all of both of the decks. And yeah, um, I won't have a whole lot to say in this video. Like I said, I, I really don't consider myself an angel card reader um so i'm <laughs> i'm not the best to totally speak on this topic but i am a lover of all sorts of cards so i do have a couple of these and yeah um, we'll just get started so i'll do the um angel prayers here on the left and the ask an angel here or sorry <laughs> angel prayers on the right and the ask an angel on the left i'll zoom in a little bit here okay uh, yeah, so let's let's start with the the um, cards that they have the same in each deck. There's actually two in some of them. Um, there is two. Look at this one. Thank you. 
Right, so that was a, a quick flip through of the cards there. Um, so yeah, I just had broken it up into ones that didn't really <laughs> um, relate to each other. And then of course the, the ones where the angels were in both. Um, there's actually quite a few there, as you saw of the, um, in the Ask an Angel where the, they have particular angels that are duplicated or there's a number, a couple of, of the cards. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, I mean, I meant this video to be fairly quick. Um, I guess I should have said this at the beginning, but it was really for anyone who just was looking for an angel card deck and wanted to see the images um, on these two particular decks. Um, like I said, I don't have a whole lot to share on this topic as I, <laughs> I know very little myself and uh, I'm happy to admit that I am really not an angel card reader, um, or at least I'm, I'm not in any way an expert to speak on the topic, uh, but I love reading cards. So I hope that this video helped if anybody you know, is looking for angel card decks and maybe was trying to decide between the two of these, you can take a look at what cards are available and a little bit of the artwork, because you can see that the style is super different. Um, I don't think I showed the back. So these are the backs of the cards. It's <laughs> two of them. Um, and of course the um, angel prayers is, is significantly smaller. Um, it's standard, I guess more the, um, the Ask an Angel, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting these names mixed up. This is uh, a standard kind of blue angel 
card size, so it's certainly on the bigger side. Um, whereas this is a, I believe this is Hay House. Yeah, so if you have any other Hay House decks, those do not go there. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, let me grab, um, just for comparison, like the um, Smithwaite Centennial Borderless deck. Or, yeah, so here we go. You can see like these are pretty pretty substantial size cards, right? They're pretty big. Um, and then here they're big as well. You know, often oracle cards are, are quite a bit larger than the tarot. So, anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I wanted to just keep this video quite quick and just show off two of these angel card decks. Um, I think they're both really lovely. I appreciate the artwork in both of them. Um, but yeah, I mean I don't <laughs> don't have a whole lot to say in terms of how they read and all the rest because um, I, I work with them quite seldomly, typically in the spring, though I will, I will pull them out for one reason or another um, and use them. So anyways, uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this of this video and these particular decks. Like, do you have either of them? Um, if you were going to purchase one, which would you pick? What kind of artwork style do you like? Um, this is, like I said, Tony Carmine Solero. He has a ton of Oracle decks out, and to me, his artwork is just amazing. It's so, so, so dreamy, and I would like to get my hands on everything that he has created. I just adore the artwork that he has. But yeah, great. So thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you next time.